Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Workshop Wednesdays. The first item of the day, the shelved elf. <laughs> it's a hat item. I think it is all class. There it is. On every single class you can get a little gnome that just sort of sits on your head. There's two styles. One with a plain hat and one with the green rim around it, which will also paint the gloves. And apart from that, it is fully paintable also. So there's, it's like twice painted, kind of. You know what I mean. Yeah, the pompous pugilist. I don't know what a pugilist is. In any case, it's a heavy set that I quite like. Yeah, there it is in its full glory. It consists of the luscious beard with the mustache plus the glasses plus the hair. And then you got the upper body set, which is this wonderful west. And it even comes with trousers just for this. And <laughs> the really cool texture belt with two styles even. Look at that. <laughs> you can get a heavy emblem instead of the Texas cow skull. Pretty dope stuff. Bulb Blaster. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool, but I'm I'm also a huge Christmas guy, so I might be biased on these. So uh, you guys let me know in the comments, I suppose. I like that they get change colors. I like the way it looks. I'm quite fond of this hat, and I would definitely wear it if I were to unbox it. It does come with a second style, which is called Lights Out, where there's no lights, and then it's just a fancy helmet, which is also quite dope. So I'm a huge fan of this. And I hope it gets in for Smithmas. Next up, the unusual effect, Divine Spirits. One more unusual effect to add to the pile, but I think a cool one. Yeah, come on, look at that. Really, really dope. And it's also very well adjusted for the Christmas spirit. Solar light. <laughs> it's a war paint to put solar light on your, on your weapons. What do you think, guys? <laughs> look how many awards this has got. <laughs> There's quite a bit of awards. People like it. Mm. Next up, Penguin Plastered War Paint. This one was sent to me via email by a fan which I was not expecting but I think it's really cute look <laughs> how can you not press yes it's simple if I'm not locked in, I'm, I'm not coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I did it on Steam, though. It's a cute penguin war paint, and it's made by a fan, so of course I'm including this here. I'm usually not too big into war paints, but, you know. Evil Penguin Real? By the way, it was made by the real Joe Schmo. Oh my god. Not just by any old Joe Schmo, it was, <laughs> it was made by the real one. So yeah, yeah, give this one, check this one out, especially. Snow Code! Ay -ay -ay. Never seen this hat before. What an original concept. <laughs> I'd actually find it quite funny if we got in the game the Crone's Dome. Is it called Crone's Dome? I think the original one's called Crone's Dome. Just snowmanified. That'd be kind of funny. Anyway, let's move on to the Anti-Frost Visors. A really cool scout uh, a hat and comes with this SFM, which is cute. Yeah, no, this is nothing too special. Nothing to write home about, but just a solid scout cosmetic. That would do well in the Team Fortress 2 economy, you know, as a 1.33 refined craft hat. <laughs> and it comes with the cold boy, which is of course the upper body, so the, the vest. Uh, is that a pullover? Maybe. And it's paintable, but the paint only changes the little rim around the vest, so. Kind of a waste on paint, if you ask me, but it. The woolly pulley with multiple styles. There is three styles, I think. So you got festive, medicinal, I would guess, maybe, and plain. I, don't know, I, I just came up with those names. Those aren't the real names. In any case, look at this very cool red uh, now that I'm looking at this, the festive one might actually be the one that I called plain. In any case, this one's dope. Let's move on to the Operator Angel style. There's Angel and Phantom. Uh, with the Phantom style, you get a little bone mask thing. I like it. It's not too bad. Not really a Swiss beside him, but hey, I found it in a workshop and I, I thought it was cool. Let's move on to the Mac sack. <laughs> it's a sack of holy mackerels. Yeah, could be a low tier cosmetic for <laughs> for the Smithmas update. You know, it fits well with the theme of the Smithmas update and it, it is low tier for sure. The only thing I don't like about it as per usual with these items is that you will not be able to get this in unusual at all since only hats can be unusual so whenever you unbox this you're just gonna be sad and disappointed but as a cosmetic it's pretty funny the ellie fallet ellie fallet yeah it's a sniper smg weapon concept which has a demonstration video there it is demonstrated sniper so you're gonna shoot it yeah there it is so it's just a a different 
mm, SMG. It, it could even be a reskin, to be honest. I think that's pretty dope. Sadly, as per usual, this is just a passion project by the person who made it, and it will never be added into TF2 since Valve just doesn't do that anymore. The chimney jump hatted. It's a scout hat. It's supposed to be this kid from the Polar Express, I think. It's probably the Polar Express. I'm not sure. It could be. The question is, does it come with the broom? <laughs> Maybe. Next up, we actually have a Taunt Day top scoring Texas, which is really Let's cool. Do this Texas style. So, you got a looping animation <laughs> where. Okay, we're going full screen here. Uh, maybe even zoom in a bit so you can see the minigame. Uh, I think the button clicks of the engineer as the jumps of the of the minigames are synchronized. But I'm not too sure. They could be out of sync. I hope they're not. But there's the outro. Ah, there we go again. So the button clicks are absolutely not synced up, no. <laughs> but it's got this little game loop. And it, it looks it looks pretty good. Also, I think if the animations were synced up, that would probably look weird sometimes with lag and everything. So that's fine. Rainbow Robin, a pyro cosmetic. Uh, it looks like it could be Pyroland restricted, but usually Pyroland restricted items are kind of crap. So I really don't hope so. Gives him the Spartan unicorn appearance, which is a, a weird combo. Holy retribution with three different forms is an unusual effect that does well i think with the whole christmas idea of this video kinda i think christmas after all is like a christian thing right so yeah this this does kind of work does not leave trail behind good to know hired hair is a bunny item that makes <laughs> the maxis hat completely obsolete i don't know if that's a good thing i think it's kind of fun i don't know if you want to add it even though it does fare well with the christmas theme of the video imagine this gets added and Everyone who has a Maxis hat just experiences a 5 key drop in value. That kind of sucks. But hey, I think it's cool. Next up, we have the Hail Mary in brackets. Nice. So there's two styles. Nice and uh, probably without the lights. Not nice. Not sure though. Nothing more to say here. Let's move on to the Outerworldly Warmware. Look at that cool SFM picture. Yeah. It's just a solid Devil Man hat and upper body and even pants combo. I think this looks good. <laughs> I forgot I had a joke item in here. Uh, the Muddy Mercenary. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need to say much more here. There it is, folks. And one more to end today's episode. The Snow Dome. Similar to the end of the line scene where Sniper is frozen in the snow. We have the soldier instead with an entire igloo on his head. I think that's kind of cool. And a cool little, uh, not too that infamous or famous, however you want to look at it. End of the line update. With that, thank you so much for your patience, folks. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, like a week or more. Hope it was kind of worth the wait. Probably not. Whatever. I'll try and make daily videos again. We'll see if I can stick to it and I will see you, my fantastic friends, in the next one. Bye bye. It's the middle of the night again And I am joining a match I'm thinking to myself